Like all our tools, the Constraint Manager continues to growing and improve. And 2024 has been an especially fruitful year for its development. Join us for a review of the 12 most useful and interesting upgrades introduced to the new Constraint Manager this year. Let's start with the extensive cross-probe functionality available from both the schematic and PCB levels. It's essential to have the cross-select mode option enabled, which can be found in the tools drop-down menu. Here, we have split the screens accordingly. On the left, you see the schematic sheet along with the schematic constraints below, and on the right, the PCB layout with PCB constraints underneath. Now we can freely select entities on the schematic, in schematic constraints, or on the PCB or PCB constraints. Regardless of where the selection is made, it will also be highlighted in other windows and in the constraint manager windows, will automatically scroll to that item. Additionally, new useful cross probe modes were introduced. Depending on your needs, you can choose to mask the selected element or dim the rest on both the schematic and PCB. Of course, all masking and dimming options can be customized in the view options. At the beginning of this year, a new checkbox was introduced in the new project creation window, indicating whether we want to use the new constraint manager or the classic design rule system. This checkbox is located just below the version control box and is set to disabled by default, though you can change this. If you'd like this checkbox to be enabled by default, Go to Preferences, then System, then General, and select Advanced Settings. Here, search for Constraint and enable the System.Constraint Manager option. Now, Altium Designer needs to be reloaded to initiate the new settings. When creating a new project, you'll see that the Constraint Manager option is automatically enabled. So based on your needs, you can adjust this checkbox to suit your preferences. Another feature introduced this year is a dedicated tab in the electrical category for differential pairs. From both the schematic and PCB layout, we now have access to a dedicated workspace for differential signals. Another very useful mechanism is the ability to define constraints using directives directly in the schematic, which can be automatically pulled into the schematic constraint manager. Let's add such directives. Here we have high current net, so let's insert the HC marker. In it, we'll predefine the trace thickness for these nets Now let's assign them to the appropriate traces, like in these locations. Next, we go to the Constraint Manager. After hitting Refresh, all newly added directives become visible and ready to be imported into the Constraint Manager. After saving, we see that all symbols have changed color, indicating they're now in the Constraint Manager. 
The next introduced feature is the ability to edit and delete constraints in groups from the schematic level. We can easily copy one constraint to many others and then, if needed, delete some of them in groups without having to go through each line individually. As shown in orange, the deleted constraints resulting from directives in the schematic are highlighted. Another tool that further enhances flexibility and ease of constraint definition is the ability to export a set of constraints to a file and then import them into any other project. To do this, go to one of the lines, right-click, go to Export, then select Export Constraint from Selected Line. Now we have the option to preview and select the constraints we want to save to a file. After confirming, we name it and select where to save it. Switching to another project, go to Import, then Import Constraints, and select the file we just created. Here you can also preview the components and parameters of the constraints you want to import. After clicking OK, the new constraint appears in our table. This process is similar for exporting and importing constraint sets. Similarly, choose Export, but this time select Export Constraint Set. Save the file, which you can then import into another project. After importing, the new constraint set appears in the constraint sets list and is ready to use in the new project. Another very useful feature is the ability to migrate projects prepared with the classic design rules system to the new constraint manager. As you can see here, I have a few directives defined at the schematic level. Going into design rules, there's a full list of specified requirements. To save time on manually transferring them to the constraint manager, we can now do this automatically in just a few clicks. You can access this option from both the PCB and schematic levels by going to design, then using the Migrate Project to Constraint Manager function. Remember, this is a one-time, one-way option, so it's best to work on a copy of the old project to avoid losing any data. Click Migrate Project, and within moments, the Constraint Manager table is ready. As you can see, our directives from the schematic are visible, and on the schematic itself, they've turned blue. Let's see how it looks on the PCB. In the All Rules category, all necessary constraints were transferred to advanced rules according to the previous rule set. As we're already on all rules, similar to the old rule system, both basic and advanced rules can be enabled or disabled freely. For advanced ones, you can enable or disable all within a given category. Right-click on the category and select Enable or Disable Advanced Rules as needed. The last feature for today is the View Only mode for the Constraint Manager when it's run on a license that doesn't support editing. Here we have a normal Constraint Manager on the schematic level. Now let's switch licenses. For example, let's select the standard license. After closing and reopening the Constraint Manager window, a view-only notification appears, meaning only team members with higher licenses can edit the CM, while others can only view it. That's all the improvements I'll be showcasing today. Let's take a look at a summary of all the new features in the Constraint Manager this year. I've prepared a list based on release notes of all the CM improvements discussed today. There are 92 in total, some of which address your forum questions directly. Of course, the list of all detailed options is available on the release notes page, divided by specific AD release functions. And in the new and Altium designer site, you will find the key features described in more detail before they are added to the technical documentation. Thank you for your attention and talk soon.